So there's a new sponsored bit on the show, a, a sponsored recap. The Whack of the Night, yeah. sponsored by Lorlard Tobacco Company. <laughs> the Whack of the Night. The Whack of the Night was, in fact... Ah, uh, my teenage years. <laughs> only one. Uh, yes. uh, the Gentlemen, Whack of the Night please. <laughs> was Triple H's destroying test, erasing him from the face of the earth. That was and a this, whack. This was a whack. This is a mafia-style whack. <laughs> test was whacked on Monday. I don't that's a great we question. haven't gotten to the good part yet, everybody. In case you're listening to this and wondering, <laughs> what's wondering, this great thing it? that Brian's talking about that he loved so much? Because I haven't heard it yet. Well, I haven't seen it yet either. Well, I think we're there, Brian. Here we go! Yes. Want to take- <laughs> All right, so listen. I've mentioned, I've mentioned a million times, okay? The Steve Austin heel turn is a disaster, but as a heel, he's fucking phenomenal. Okay. As a performer, yes. Vince McMahon is one of the greatest heels ever in the history of this business and one of the greatest performers in the history of this business. Whether he's any good as a booker anymore, uh, you know, that's, that's up for debate. Actually, it's not. He fucking sucks at it. But absolutely fantastic performer. You got Steve Austin, you got Vince McMahon. And you got The Undertaker, who was on fire on this show as a babyface. Mm-hmm. And Stephanie is there, and she's actually better than usual. And Triple H as well. Hunter's there, yes. yeah. So Steve Austin is being stretchered out, and he's got his eye all taped up, and he's one angry rattlesnake. Mm-hmm. I don't deserve this. I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. I was minding my own business doing commentary. I don't deserve this. He's just ranting as he's he's wheeled out in this stretcher <laughs> so they're pushing him towards the ambulance and he's, he's... Don't, don't gloss over this part because the ambulance must have been 150 yards away oh yeah it's <laughs> like it's like in another it's in another <laughs> arena <laughs> they, they, they got to squeeze hunter through one of the the, the a doorway to get the the stretcher in next it's, it's it's a complicated affair to get austin to this ambulance it was so funny they were wheeling him out and it would be quiet and then steve would pop off with one of his things i don't deserve this and it'd be quiet again. I didn't do I, nothing to that man. I, <laughs> I don't deserve this. They beat the yeah. shit out of him and tried to, to kill him on the last show, but that's yeah. beside well, the n- point. Not only that, but just before Undertaker attacked him on this show, he's talking about how much he enjoyed hitting Lita with a chair, and he'd love to do it again. Yes. That's right. He's, he's, that's what makes him a heel. He's a giant hypocrite. So he's being dragged off in this stretcher, and Vince is there with him, and Hunter's there with him, and Stephanie, and, and they're all concerned and they, they're wheeling him into the limo, or not the limo, the, the I guess ambulance. it's a, a medical limo, into the ambulance, and he's, he's still ranting, Ah, I, da- I can't understand. I don't deserve this. They get him inside, and, and he goes, Let's get going. Give me the hospital. Hunter goes, or no, he goes, he, what did he call him? Triple. Not trips. <laughs> triple. He goes, triple. And so Hunter goes, I'll go with you, Steve. And and he and Hunter climbs into the ambulance and he said, "Now this is all from memory, by the way." Hunter, Hunter and Austin alone get in the ambulance and close the door behind them. Yeah, Hunter's in the ambulance. <laughs> There's no doctors in there. Hunter's no. in nothing but his trunks. He's yes. a naked man. And he jumps into this ambulance. He goes, oh, I'm, "I'm here with you, Steve." Steve goes, "Glad somebody came with me." And so they they shut the doors. And for some reason, when they shut the doors, it's still perfect audio. It's crazy. Yeah. So they shut the doors and Austin goes, "Let's get going." And there's a pause. <laughs> and there's dead silence for a moment. It's one of those instances where you know what's coming next. Mm-hmm. And that brief pause is enough for you to build anticipation and get excited. And, of course, it's the fucking Undertaker. Now, the last time we saw Undertaker driving, it was, Where to, Stephanie? Correct. Which is which is a classic. Like, I mean, Big Swole. reasons. Big Swole stole it two weeks ago. Yes, yes. Right. How the fuck was this one not a classic? Undertaker pops his head around the corner, and in the most cheerful voice ever, he screams, <laughs> Hello, boys! And Steve Austin... <laughs> I, I guess they were concerned that he was going to scratch his eyes out. Yes. Because they fucking strapped him to the stretcher that's right his arms are trapped so all you all you see is him look up hunter freaks out 
Yeah. And amazingly, The Undertaker goes right after Triple H. And he throws Triple H out the door. And he starts punching him. He starts beating his ass. And Vince runs up and Undertaker punches him. Punches Triple H again. He pulls Steve Austin's stretcher out of the limo. Steve Austin's trapped. His arms are trapped. He could move nothing but his head. Undertaker pulls his stretcher out enough so that it's leaning against... He doesn't take it all the way out. It's just leaning against the ambulance. He starts punching Steve Austin in the face. Steve's going, ah, ah. He's just screaming. His Undertaker punches him. Vince McMahon runs in. He's like, damn it, damn it. He's doing the old Vince McMahon. I am crying. I am crying at this scene. Everybody is fucking perfect. Stephanie's screaming at the top of her lungs. Vince is going, damn it! And every now and then you see his face and he's got that Vince face. Hunter's selling for once in his fucking life. Yes. Undertaker's beating the shit out of ten people. Steve Austin's cussing at the top of his lungs. Somehow you can't hear a, a one cuss word that he says, but you can hear that he's screaming. It was the fucking greatest. And finally, I guess they broke it up or whatever. I don't even remember what happened at the end. I just remember watching this part over and over again. And I guess they finally get... You know, Steve Austin and, and Triple H out of there. This was so great. This was great professional wrestling. I was so happy to see somebody beat up Triple H and Steve Austin. It was like, finally, somebody got their just desserts. It's the fucking Undertaker I'm sick of. But, like, today, I wasn't sick of him. I was rooting for the guy. Ah, oh, I loved it. With all my heart, I loved this.